hello viewers in today's video i am going to show you how you can root huawei mate, mate 9 which is running latest oreo version which is 376 in my region first thing you need to enable uh, developer options by tapping seven times on build number then go in developer options and uh, enable oem unlock if you have not added uh, your google account you will not be able to enable oem unlock so i will add my google account in this phone and uh, now i will see you can see the oem unlock is enabled next step is you need to connect your phone in uh, fast boot mode you can do this by connecting the cable with the phone and then hold volume down and power key just keep holding both keys it will force your phone to go into fast boot mode once your phone is in fast boot mode you can see it is showing frp unlock and phone locked now we need to unlock the bootloader of this phone which we can do by fast boot mode command fast boot oem unlock and then type your uh, unlock code and press enter on your phone screen you will get a warning if you really want to unlock the bootloader select yes by using volume up and press power button now your phone will do a factory reset and uh, the bootloader is unlocked as you can see it is saying your device has been unlocked and cannot be trusted so after the reset we are going to proceed further so let's wait uh, for the reset to complete viewers in this video i will use magisk to root this phone but you can also use uh, super su method uh, more details about uh, super su method uh, you can find by clicking the link in the description of this video method is almost same in twrp recovery where you flash magisk you need to flash super su for the other method okay phone now booting after factory reset process viewers you need to skip everything and reach quickly to home screen you don't need to add wi-fi you don't need to add uh, fingerprints you don't need to add sc screen lock you can do all these things after rooting your phone okay start up as new device and uh, skip everything also skip the cloud device protection skip and uh, reach home screen okay once you are at uh, home screen now you need to install magisk manager which i have uh, already copied uh, i think not copied i will do it now you just need to copy latest uh, magisk and uh, magisk manager on your uh, device on your sd card okay i have copied magis latest magisk on my sd card and now again hold volume down and power key keep holding until your device reboots into fast boot mode your uh, phone should be connected with your pc when you are holding these two buttons i will try again volume down and power both buttons you need to press and keep them holding until your uh, phone reboots in fast boot mode i think almost uh, 20 seconds you need to hold these buttons okay now you can see phone is unlocked frp is unlocked now we are going to flash twrp recovery on our uh, phone so the command is fast boot space uh, fast boot space flash space recovery underscore ram disk space and then drag your twrp recovery file on the cmd screen i will just do it now ram disk and then you need to simply drag twrp recovery wherever uh, 
you have saved that recovery now I am going to drag this uh, TWRP image drag and drop on CMD screen and then press enter the flashing process should start once recovery has been flashed you don't you need to con disconnect phone from your computer just remove that cable from phone and uh, then hold volume up and uh, power button you need to hold both these buttons for at least 30 seconds you just need to keep holding even after reboot until you see the TWRP recovery so let's uh, enter TWRP recovery phone just rebooted you do, you need to keep holding even at that at this point so even at this logo keep holding just keep holding okay phone just uh, entered TWRP recovery mode now we need to wait until it loads completely okay swipe to allow modifications then tap on install okay I think uh, it's good thing to back up your uh, kernel and uh, RAM disk first so if anything goes back uh, goes uh, bad you can uh, restore these two partitions uh, to recover your phone I will back up them on my SD card okay the backup process okay it gave error that not enough space that means another partition has been selected by mistake so I will check yes system partition was selected now the backup should complete only RAM disk and uh, kernel partitions you need to back up it is just a safety measure you don't actually need to back up so once the backup completed we need to go back simply press back and again uh, go back from the navigation keys and tap on install and uh, then select magisk v16 and swipe to confirm now the magisk installation should start it will take 10 to 15 seconds okay installation completed now reboot your phone and press do not install okay now phone should reboot first boot may take little longer so you don't need to worry even if it uh, boot loops one or two times don't get worried phone shouldn't boot normally okay phone just starting up okay at home screen now we need to check if magisk manager is there yes magisk manager is there open it and uh, it will show you installed version is v16 now we are going to install root checker to confirm that uh, root access has been installed properly open the root checker and uh, agree disclaimer and then tap on verify root grant root access and yes your phone has been successfully rooted thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos